Seven Action News has been leading the way with stories that aim to help fix your child's school. Earlier this year, we told you about some schools and how they were cramming kids into overcrowded buses. Parents voiced their concerns for safety. Seven Action News reporter Kim Russell explains what one lawmaker is doing to address this problem. We asked you to call us if you needed help fixing your child's school. We then got results in many cases at the local level, and now our stories may be leading to more statewide change. What are we looking for a bill number? Bill number will be 5208. All right, 5208, uh, school okay. bus capacity. We followed Representative Adam Zemke from Ann Arbor as he introduced new legislation today on a day that many lawmakers took off. This bill is important because, you know, we need to ensure that kids are safe. It is legislation Representative Zemke started working on after seeing stories on 7 Action News about an issue that impacts so many kids in so many schools. Do you guys feel safe? No. no. At the beginning of the school year, many schools run their buses over capacity, seating kids four, five, or six to a seat or even on the floor. It's just not safe. This mom called us in September after Plymouth Canton schools responded to her complaints, saying no laws were broken. Our story inspired the district to act, adding a bus route right away. But under the law, it didn't have to. The law says that for the first four weeks of the school year, schools can cram more kids on a bus than bus manufacturers allow. This bill is very simple. Uh, it closes a loophole in the People Transportation Act that says for four weeks after the start of school, school districts are allowed to uh, run buses over capacity. Zemke says you may be surprised at who's against the plan. We'll take a look at why and who ahead on 7 Action News at 6. His message to them? That student safety is the most important thing here. If there's something else we should be covering impacting your child's education, email us, fix my school at WXYZ.com. In Lansing, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.